Hello friends, in this video, I'm going to show you how to design this flash ring in the Rhino. So let's get started. So for the first step, let's go to the frame view and double click on it. And let's choose Saga. And we are going to uh, start from the origin. So type 0 and enter. And put the radius any more you want. I'm going to type 0 .0, uh, 0.5 and enter. And let's zoom extend it. You can uh, put any dimension you want. Uh, the dimensions doesn't matter in this tutorial. And let's choose a uh, line tool. Let's create a short line. Uh, I'm going to use just free and technique. Just uh, click here. Okay, let's draw one more line at the bottom of this circle. Click here. And this line will be a little bit longer from the first line. Okay, now let's choose a uh, uh, arc tool and the first point will be right here and second point will be right here and uh, click right here now let's draw a reference line uh, choose a single line command uh, click on this quadrant and move it in the other direction and type 0 0.2 and one more time uh, click right here and uh, move the mouse in the right direction and type 0 0.3 Okay, now we are going to extend this arc. So let's go to the curve tool and choose extend curve and extend curve. And we need to uh, choose the option smooth option. Okay, first we have to see the command line. Uh, it's telling press enter for dynamic extend. I want uh, this option. So uh, press enter key from your keyboard. And uh, click right here. We don't want natural. We want smooth. So click here and choose smooth option. And we need to select the curve and click here. Okay, as you can see, the curve is moving. Okay, I don't want uh, the option to point. Uh, so uh, one more time, click right here. Okay, as you can see, uh, our curve is uh, freely moving. Okay, we need to click right here and click this one. Okay, we are going to mirror this curve. So select mirror tool. You can type the command or you can choose the mirror from right here. Uh, select this one and right click. Uh, first click will be right here and the second click will be in the other direction. Click anywhere you want. Okay, we don't need this line anymore. Delete all. Okay, now let's restore all the full viewport. And click on, uh, double click on, perspective view. Now let's draw a circle at this stop. Okay, we are going to choose a two-point circle. Click here. And first click will be here and second click will be right here. Okay, uh, one more time. Let's restore the viewport. Now let's go to the right side view and double click on it. And we are going to create some reference line. Uh, choose line. Uh, click right here at quad snap. Uh, you have to open the quad snapping and uh, click here. You can create any uh, amount of length you want. Uh, we are not going to use this. This is just for a construction line. Uh, let's create one more uh, line at the bottom right here and uh, press shift for the horizontal position. Click here. Okay, now we are going to uh, create some sublime. Uh, let's use control point sublime. And last one will be right here and right click. Okay, we went uh, tangential fair right this point and this point. So let's use a uh, mesh curve tool. First selection will be this sublime, and second will be this line. And let's choose a uh, tangential fair and OK. Now let's delete this line. We don't need any more. And select this curve and choose mirror tool. And mirror point will be right here and the line will be right here. Okay, now let's restore the full viewport. And uh, let's double click on perspective. Now we are going to use a uh, curve never tool. 
and choose the shader option from here and use curve network and first selection will be in this direction and second selection will be right here and right click Okay, uh, we are going to leave the setting as it was and click OK. Now select this surface and go to solid and choose Caplina hole and right click. Okay, one more time, let's go to the uh, wireframe mode and select this circle and let's extrude it. Go to solid and Choose is two planar curve and choose straight. Uh, let's uh, choose uh, both sides and click here. Okay, one more time. Uh, let's change to shade that. Now we are going to use subtract tool and go to solid section and use boolean difference. First selection will be right here and right click, and second selection will be right here and right click. Okay, now let's uh, select all these curves. and hide it now select this ring and go to property and uh, remove this chain mark and close this ok now let's uh, duplicate this saga select this and right click Okay, now we are going to uh, offset this curve and select this curve and go to curve and choose offset and offset curve and offset distance will be uh, 0.04 and click here. Okay, now let's uh, eschew this. I'm going to use uh, just free and technique for it and let's eschew it in one direction. and just click right here and let's uh, switch to wireframe mode and we are going to is to this line and now let's use subscribe to first selection will be this one and right click and second will be this one and right click and let's switch back to shader mode okay and we need to simplify this uh, top one and go to property and uh, remove this check mark and close it now you can uh, union this too Now let's go to the top view and we need to create lightning shape. Let's use polyline tool. Now select this and move it right here on top of this ring. Okay, uh, the lightning symbol is uh, too small. Let's scale it. Okay, let's look better. Now let's go to the uh, perspective or full view bar. And let's move this uh, 2D shape in the other direction. And click on this arrow. Uh, type 0 0.71. And let's extrude it. Go to solid and uh, choose extrude planar cap and choose straight. And let's extrude it up to 0 0.045 and enter. Okay, let's go to the perspective view. Okay, this is the way we went. Now let's fill out these edges. Uh, let's go to the uh, solid and choose filler edge. Uh, select this uh, edge. Our uh, filler radius will be 0 0.02 and right click and one more time. And one more time, let's choose filler again. 
slash all these agents the failure radius will be the same amount and right click and one more time right click it okay And now on the right side view, create this uh, flash symbol one more time. And let's uh, move it uh, right here. Okay, the symbol is too large. So let's scale it down. Press Shift and click on Scale. Now let's go to the perspective view. Uh, we are going to uh, split these phases. And now select this model and click on Explode. Okay, now let's go to the right side view again. And we are going to split this surface. So to split tool, uh, the first uh, selection will be this surface. And uh, right click. And the second selection will be this 2D symbol. And right click. Okay, now let's go to the perspective view one more time. Okay, as you can see, our surface has been split. It. And let's select this and hide this. Now select this surface and let's move it in the extrusion. Click here and put the distance 0 0.01 and enter. Okay, now let's use a blend tool and let's go to right here and choose blend. And we need to select change edge. So let's select these edges. And right click and adjust the uh, any setting you want. Now do the same for the other side. Okay, now let's join all these surveys together. Uh, select all these and above surface tool and click on join okay now let's fill out these edges this looks sharp now let's go to here and choose filler edge and our filler radius will be 0 0.03 and select this edge and right click and one more time right click now let's apply some material on this model First, uh, we need to uh, separate layer. So select this and click on Explode. And we need to dry some of the face one more time. And uh, select this and uh, select these faces. Okay, uh, this one too. And click on Join. Okay, now uh, open the uh, Duga layer panel. And uh, right click on this layer too and choose chain object layer okay now select this surface and this surface and right click on layer 1 and choose chain object layer now click on material and let's choose uh, plastic for this material and let's choose the color uh, which will be uh, red uh, choose this color and click OK and now one more time click OK and click this uh, layer color to black and click OK now we need to change material for this uh, click on this white button and for this we need to uh, apply some metallic uh, and click on this color and let's choose uh, this golden color and click OK and click one more time and let's uh, see it in render view okay our metallic is too shiny let's uh, reduce the shininess and reduce the polish amount and click ok 
Now we need to uh, change this uh, lightning symbol to layer 2 and right click and change object layer. Okay, now let's look better. Select this two and right click and change object layer. Okay, our flash ring has been completed. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe my channel.